Oswego County Route 3 is now reopened in Mexico. A pedestrian-involved crash overnight shut down part of Route 3 between Spring Street and Munger Hill Road. A 911 dispatch says that it happened around 2.15 and a person has been taken to the hospital. We still don't know the extent of their injuries, but we do know the sheriff's office is investigating. And they're still investigating in Shenango County. The sheriff says there was a reported abduction last night in Smithville. Caitlin Nielsen has been found safe after reports she had been forced into Calvin Burlingame's car last night. No charges have been filed yet, but anyone with information should still reach out to investigators at 607-337-1863. Well, a health alert this morning as the West Nile virus has been reported for the first time this year in Onondaga County. Two mosquito pools testing positive, one at on Onondaga Lake Park and the other at a trap along Belle Isle Road in the town of Geddes. Today, those three children who were killed in the house fire in Rome last week will be laid to rest. And state police now say they're confident this fire was accidental, not criminal or suspicious. Investigators still haven't made a final determination on the cause. The calling hours today for Elise, Patrick, and Temperance Crowed will be from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Nunn and Harper Funeral Home in Rome. Well, some new efforts to restore Shopping Town to its former glory continue this morning. Now, the spot's current owner, Moonbeam Capital, drawing up new concepts to redevelop the property. The diagram showing a bird's eye view of a mixed-use space with entertainment, residential areas, as well as a big box store and two-level sports complex in the middle of the mall.